back, everyone. I'm Kimberly Moss. We all have stories about how a pet has touched our heart. For many, their best friend was found at a shelter in need of a home and an extra dose of love. Local photographer and author Melody Saunders wanted to capture the impact of owning a rescued pet. In her new book, A Bone on My Pillow, Tales from Home, Melody helps bring to life the stories of more than 60 rescued pets and how they've helped enhance the lives of their owners. Melody joins me now. Such a wonderful book of photographs, <laughs> Melody. I love it. Thank what you. inspired you to put this book together? Well, wherever I would go, um, I'd tell people, oh, my God, your dog is so cute. And I found more and more that people were saying, oh, he was rescued. He found me. I'd be walking in the street, and some dog would be following me, and he didn't have a home. I took him home. So it was like more than ever, I found that so many people were just telling me how wonderful their dogs were, and they were all found. And you have these beautiful photographs in here, and you had every owner that you chose mm -hmm. write a little something about how they came to connect with that animal mm -hmm. and how they came into their lives. How did you choose the people that would go into this book? Because you have yeah. local celebrities and many others. Uh, very easily. Uh, I asked people if they had a rescue dog. They said yes. I said, do you have a good story? They said yes, and they were in the book. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> you know? Let's talk about this dog on the cover here, just darling. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about this dog? Yes, he's a mini pincher, and he's um, owned by Alexander Ben Israel, and he's a friend of mine. And that little dog, um, they had been looking for a dog, looking for a dog. They said that when they saw him, him and his, all his kids, his wife, it was love at first sight. They took him out for a run. They found him, I think, at the Humane Society, and they never went back. Oh, it took him home the same day. Another Humane Society dog, uh, mm -hmm. Art here, from Hotel Monaco. Mm -hmm. He is featured in the book as well. Now, he's the director of Pet Relations. Yes. And he is in charge of making sure all the puppies have bones on their pillows. <laughs> what is the message you want to get to people with this book? I uh, myself have two rescued pets, and so many others do, and they know how important it is. What do you want to tell people? I want to say that there are millions and millions of dogs out there, and puppy mills are terrible, pet stores are terrible, breeders aren't the greatest. There's so many dogs already needing homes. There's all ages, there's all sizes, there's all shapes. Some need medical care, but they all need love. And there's, they, they euthanize them. If they're, you know, they're waiting for a home, they don't get one, they're killed. It's really sad. And if you go to the pound, I mean, you can find anything you want or they'll find you. And you're helping rescue organizations with this book? I am. A percent goes back to different organizations that need help at the time. Fabulous. And where can people pick one up? Because it's a great coffee table book. You can always look through it and the stories are so touching. Great. You can call me at Melody Saunders Photography, 503-636-1255, or go to my website, which is MelodySaundersPhotography.com. I just love it, and thank you thank so much you. for being here. It's a great thanks. project, and thanks to Maestro for being with us as well. Good to have you here, Maestro. Very <laughs> oh. comfy in Mom's lap. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Don't go away. Better we'll be right back.